Hello everybody, Orvar here, and today I want to talk to you about stats in Dark Souls 2. Now let's start off by showing you guys the stats. Uh, there are nine in total. First one being Vigor, which determines your health. Endurance, which increases your overall stamina. There's Vitality, which in previous Souls games uh, determined your health, but it now determines your equipment load. So you might need it to not medium roll or fat roll. Another quick note on equipment load, as long as you're below 70% you'll fast roll. And the less equipment load you have, the larger distance your roll will be. So your roll distance is determined by your equip load. There are no breakpoints for this, so let's say you have 65% uh, and 64%. 64% will be just a bit, tiny bit uh, longer than 65 Having really low equip load with the roll, it makes a slight difference. It's about a foot of distance, and uh, sometimes that can mean life or death. So uh, it's sort of important, but if you have a heavy build, you can't really afford that. Uh, attunement governs the number of spells you can use at once, or equip at once, and it also boosts your spell casting speed. Strength and dex increase the damage of strength and scaling dex weapons. So if you have a weapon that has S and strength, you want to pump your strength really high. Um, same for dex. So adaptability is a new stat to the Souls series. Um, it's similar to resistance, but you also get agility from it. Now what agility does is boost ease of evasion and other actions. Uh, it gives your roll more invincibility frames for sure, and it makes the roll itself faster. Uh, I don't know exactly what other things it affects, but we know those for sure. Because of this, the stat is extremely important and extremely valuable. It also increases your natural poise up to your endurance level. So what it does is have a set number of poise if you match the level with endurance. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not getting the most natural poise out of this because I only have 20 Endurance and 38 Adaptability. If I were to level up Endurance to 38, I would get much more Natural Poise. Intelligence and Faith are also sort of self-explanatory. Uh, if you have a weapon or spell that scales with either, you're going to want to pump it up. It also slightly increases your cast speed. So now that we've talked about the stats, let's talk about the breakpoints of them. Now for Vigor, the first breakpoint is at 20. Up to 20, it gets 30 health per level. After 20, up to 50, you get 20 health per level. And after 50, it's pretty garbage. I wouldn't recommend leveling up Vigor at all after 50. But uh, getting it to 50 is good. I would have it to 50 on this character, but I'm not sure what level people are going to stop at this time. Um, I honestly, I think the PvP level should be higher, I think it should be 150 now, because adaptability is so strong, and anyone with it is just going to dominate everyone else. Moving on to Endurance, uh, Endurance's, uh, breakpoint, there's one at 20, and that's it. So you, you get two points per point in Endurance for your stamina, uh, until 20. After that you only get one. But you'll, you get one until 99. So you can pump endurance pretty high and get a huge stamina bar. But it's not very cost efficient to do so. So Vitality has two breakpoints. Um, for every point you put in up to 29, you'll get 1.5 equip load. Every point after 29 up to 49, you'll only get one equip load. And after 49, from 50 to 99, you'll only get 0.5 each. You won't need very much of this stat because rings are so powerful, and even with like the heaviest sword in the game, you could still get fast roll pretty damn easily. So Attunement has quite a few breakpoints because it gives you uh, slots for your spells. But let me quickly go over them. You get one slot at 10 Attunement, two slots at 13 Attunement, three slots at 16 Attunement, 4 slots at 20 attunement, 5 slots at 25 attunement, 6 slots at 30 attunement, 7 slots at 40 attunement, 8 slots at 50 attunement, and 9 slots at 60 attunement, 
10 slots at 75 attunement. And you don't get any more slots after 75. So attunement also increases your cast speed. And that diminishing return mark doesn't hit until 80. But it's very, very slight in cast speed increase. Strength, dex, int, and faiths breakpoints. The diminishing return hits right at 40. For spells, I, this may be an exception. I believe there's a catalyst that requires a 50 int or faith. And uh, the magic adjust scales really well, so uh, I'm not sure about that 100% if you'd want to go 50 int or 50 faith to use that. But for weapon scaling, 40. And last but not least, adaptability. Now adaptability breakpoint is at 40 as well, but the agility stops at 38. And really the only reason you want to level up adaptability is for the agility. Uh, the agility is insane. It gives you more invincibility frames on your roll, and they're faster. If you're a character that relies on dodging and rolling through attacks rather than blocking them with a the shield, you absolutely need this stat. And remember, adaptability allows you to gain natural poise for each level up to your endurance level. So thanks for watching everybody. I really hope you learned something from the video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Dark Souls 2 content coming soon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!